Hey, this is Tyler White with TJX Survival. So, before I went and did all my winter stuff this last February, a company reached out to me that's local here in the Salt Lake Valley called 3V Gear. And they asked me to demo a backpack and a duffel bag. Now, it's hard for me to think about how I can do a demo and an honest review for a duffel and a backpack without just using it. So what I decided to do, pack my gear up, stuck it on the rooftop of my car and drove to Canada with it. Now, while I was in Canada, we had seriously below degree, below freezing, degree temperature, um, I put it through some abuse. And recently, it's been about 90-ish, and I've used it on uh, multiple trips. I go camping, backpacking, go somewhere at least once every one or two weeks. So it's been constantly used for about the last six months. Having said that, my first impression was that it was gonna be, uh, when I first got on the website and saw the price, I was like, this is low price gear. Sometimes that means it's cheap gear. Now, I've been able to use this stuff constantly without ripping any seams or blowing anything out. I know in the past when I've had bags that I took to Afghanistan, the seams would blow out and stuff would come apart. And uh, this wasn't the case, so I was pleasantly surprised. Normally, when you see cheap prices, it means cheap gear, like I just said. But in this case, it was affordable. It was priced cheap enough that just about anyone could purchase it and it's been able to withstand the abuse that I've, I've given it. So I'm gonna cover the bag real quick first. It's a fairly simple bag. Got some zippers right here on the front. It's got a nice little key holder and it, this would make a really good go bag or an urban bag of some sort because it's black and fairly nondescript. It's got pockets here. I don't personally care too much about these pockets. Now I mean, if you're going to school, you want a pencil holder and place for a calculator and stuff like that. It works great. I don't personally use that. That doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. It's got a mesh pocket in the bottom of the bag. Now for me, I'll put quick access items here. Something I need to get to fast, maybe food, uh, rain cover gear, maybe ammunition, maybe medical supplies, depending on where you're at and what you're doing. Now the next big level for this, if I can figure out where I put the zipper, is just the big main compartment. It's got a nice bag piece here in the back. Now, I always looked at this and kind of wondered what you would use this for. I mean, it's good for a, you could put a plate if you wanted a, a, a body armor on your back. You can put a laptop in there. You can put documents that you don't want to be crushed. Anything that you want to be flat that kind of sits there. You also can hang with this nice little hook piece, a camel back, and that's nice too. If you're gonna be in an urban area cruising around for the day. I know when I when I go downtown, my feet hurt and I get thirsty. Um, you're basically pounding pavement all day long uh, if you're at an event of, of some sort. So it's nice to put some sort of a water bottle in the back of there and have access to it. Um, there is a little hole right there. Boop. And that's so that you can run some sort of a water container with the hydration piece out of that little hole right there. And then, other than that, it's a simple bag. It wasn't super overbuilt, um, a little dusty here. I use this for my my main garment bag when I was in, in uh, Canada this winter. Meaning, socks, um, some kind of, I, I use this stuff called pawpaw juice, and it's like Carmex, but it's really good for, blister, for uh, dry skin cuts, which happens in the desert, and it happens in the extreme cold because both environments are super dry. So I would put stuff like that, quick access items in there, snacks and that kind of thing. And I just kept it in the front of my back or in front of my truck. So if I needed to grab and go someplace quick, you know, it's a good camera bag, um, just quick access items. All right, so that's enough about the backpack. I like it for the price, it's smart. It's well built for the price. That was my concern is that it wouldn't handle the abuse as you can tell. It looks fairly new, minus the dust that I've got on it. Um, yeah, I'm impressed. It was a it was a good good acquisition. Okay, let's talk about the bag that I stuck on my roof 
and drove to Canada with, I was talking to the to the lady that asked me to demo it, and she's like, we're, we're trying to come up with ideas that I can demo. And I was like, well, I'll just throw my stuff in it and stick it on the roof and drive to Canada. So I was up there for uh, two or three days on the way up and a couple days on the way down. And it handled very well. Now, this is a water-resistant bag. It's a, not a waterproof bag. I think they do have a waterproof bag. And that's important because it's going to stop snow. It's going to probably stop light rain. It's not not something that I think you want to submerse anything in. It's got uh, normal seams that are not sealed. Um, I think if you dropped it in the puddle and immediately pulled it out, you'd be all right. But I wouldn't want to leave it underwater that could soak through the seams. But if you want something like a good skiing bag or a good, you know, trunk bag that you can put stuff in that it just keeps it secure enough without spending an obscene amount of money, this is a perfect little setup. Now this bag has, I, I know a lot of bags have this zipper stuff on the inside. I really like this because I'll put batteries in here. I'll put snacks. I'll put strange items like uh, rechargeable uh, anchor pack that's got a cable to recharge my watch. You know, just kind of like normal quick access high use items you can stick right in the lid so that you're not losing it and digging around on the bottom trying to find things um and the inside of this again there's more dust I, I used it so there's a lot of dust on the inside of this it's water it's a waterproof fabric with a water resistant seam from everything i've been able to see about this so it's it's, it's robust you can abuse it and it will function very well and then the last thing, which is kind of nice, if you're gonna carry multiple bags, I don't know anyone that's been in the military had that shark attack and you're carrying a thousand bags and running around your barracks, you're doing silly stuff like that or you're going through uh, aviation checkpoints, maybe you're flying somewhere, it's nice to be able to have the option to either carry it with your hand as one bag, like a left hand and right bag, or just throw it over your shoulders. So it has the shoulder straps right here. They're fairly robust. Um, they have a quick release, which is kind of smart. It's just like a little carabiner here that'll detach so you can pop those off. And then there's that same carabiner piece right at the base. So if you want to take these shoulder straps off and then just carry it like a duffel bag for a gym bag or something, works great. Bottom of it's fairly simple. And then I attached a yellow strap to it every time i fly or go somewhere else uh, i did go up to canada last june um, every time i fly somewhere i put a bright yellow strap of some sort on my bag so when a bunch of black bags come out of the turnstile i can say that one right there is mine okay my overall thoughts on this i abused them i used them like a regular person would i threw them around in the snow i strapped them to my roof drove over to canada i uh i put them through the ringer nothing excessive nothing stupid nothing ignorant like i see so many people do they just destroy the bags and say oh it didn't work well yeah you're treating it like trash but if you give it a normal use it functions very well um, it is water resistant and they work great also i'm all about supporting a local company here um these guys are based i want to say south jordan west jordan anyway they're by salt lake city so it's a nice utah company they make some decently robust equipment for cheap, cheap prices. I, I figured based on the price when I got this, it wouldn't be high quality. Now that I've used it, I feel like it is high quality and they might even be able to charge a little more. I'm not saying they should, but if you want something that will take some abuse and function, work really well and not cost you an arm and a leg, this is the place to go. All right, guys. That's 3V gear here local. Hopefully this review is valuable to you. If you have any questions about the, about the bag, send me a message. I try to respond to every message on my YouTube channel. And I'll leave a link down in the comment sections where you can go check these guys out. And thank you for watching. Another little pocket right there too.